Fuck you. seems to speak out again and again until I figure it out to bring this song to its end I will bring this song to its end Fuck's sake. Oh, no. 
Ah, shit, I broke those up. Okay, hold on. That song's taking the piss, and I didn't realise I was unmuted. Oh well. Boom. Screaming and stuff. I'm still booking. I haven't had a chance to get on the uh, PlayStation tool for the past like, few days, so since last stream. So we're, we're we're running a little late, which is always fun. Made some last second changes because of uh, a promise I made to Fox Queen. Looks like Tiger's going for the uh, Elevate title. We'll see that in a minute. Customized match. I believe this is an old experimental. We're just trying them out. Seeing if they work. Why? Oh, right, yeah. Okay, we're changing that match last second. God damn it. Comfy. Oh, can't be Odin. Could be Patrick, though. Yeah. I believe he's, he should have recovered by now. From injury. Oh, it's a pain in the arse today. Today's just been a pain in the arse. Bro, how is everyone been anyway? I will be with you in a moment. Like, it's, yeah, it's just been a dump. Right. In 2077, what makes someone a criminal? Getting caught. Uh, that sounds like someone followed. Oh, pro resub! Thank you for the resub, there, pro. That's awesome of you. I appreciate it a lot. You didn't have to do that. Oh, well, let's have a look. Oh, what is going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Whose fucking theme is this, by the way? Whose song is this? It's, uh, Davenport's. Because I like it. Me like it much either. Alright, Kelsey. Kelsey Mitch. Versus Ashley Mannix. FTU, so we've got SWF FTU there, happy days, save. Ah, that fucking headset. Alright. Let's get things started, shall we? So, you know, the stream's going great. <laughs> Predictions are up. 
Hey, my bear, how's it going? Pro, obviously, appreciate the, the gift sub or the subscription earlier. Love you for that. Love you in general, anyway. But, you know, hey, Shadow, we got to figure out. Um, like, Wolf has got a matchbook. He did have a matchbook, but he got switched because, obviously, I made a promise to uh, uh, Fox Queen. Um, I forgot about it during rush booking. I got to sort out that elevate title shot as well. So, for fuck's sake, I'll do that now. Whilst this match starts, this is a two out of three falls, ten minute long match. We'll see how it goes. Boom. Okay, right. Everything's edited. It should be right. I mean, it's a, a, like we're only uh, the, we've only done the uh, women's bracket. Still got the men's bracket, so we've still got time. Still got time. Plus, at the end of the day, you know, like the team thing is just sort of Italian for the teams. Like, what really matters is who wins. The so even if we are down to one person. In total, just Saskia, for example, um, and she wins, then you know she wins. Like yeah, like SDCW doesn't have all the points, but woo, you know. Turns out AWF have some really good female quarters. So you know, I mean they got pro for one, so you know can't be too surprised. <laughs> all right, the arena has been. Update again, I fixed the uh, Retribution logo on the apron there, so it's now the current one. And we got the city design on there, so yeah, did that. A Gambit, I didn't know I was going to have a match the other day, and I learned about it in the promo section. Yeah, yeah, you did. So if you're a champion, if you're Elevate champion, you're going to have a match regardless. And I pre booked it against Max because you guys have been promoing against each other, fully expecting that Max would either come in. And challenge for the title, or someone else would challenge for it, and no one did. Saskia scares you, really? Really? Why? <laughs> Why, bro? Why does Saskia scare you? I mean, aside from the fact that she doesn't stay down for shit, for love nor money half the time. Me, I'm doing okay. Well, I'm feeling a little rough. Um, sinuses are okay, so, you know, other parts of the body. Um, Marbe, so for only, only, only just answering that question. I don't want to stem arm off yet. <laughs> yeah, that's a cha that's a challenge. Persephone, uh, I have to check the fucking sheets. Uh, so I haven't uh, been able to do much efed wise since last stream. So I mean, I'm I've got to catch up myself. Um, as to what's going on. Ooh, that is a rich girl. No, she is not. Because, if I remember correctly, she, she won it once. She was the inaugural. Weren't she? Let's have a little championship history on the Discord. No, Mason Suzuki was. Uh, 70 Black Vale won it once. So, you got to win it three times or defend it three times consecutively. Um, to get to the main roster. So, 70 Black Vale is still on developmental. She needs to win it a couple more times. Well, there's the suplex combo. I don't think we've had a fall yet in this. Uh, just to let Fox Queen know, like, it's two out of three falls, ten minute time limit, as a little experiment that I'm having right now for future references. Oh. You should have seen Saskia when she, was fir when she first came on, like, before... Uh, some drama happened. Uh, she, her whole gimmick, like she's the witch, and she used to. It was like kind of really deeply embedded in Wiccan tradition. So like, she um, quoted the Rule of Three a lot, and yeah, it, it was a whole thing until like um, the person I was feuding with in the Rule of Three decided that they'd get themselves fucking banned and ruined the whole storyline. So I haven't really done promos of Saskia since, to be honest. It won't... 
I mean, well, no, it won't let you. Oh, it won't let you redeem for it with um, for the women's one because Shadow broke a beat to it. There's only one per stream. Well, Sasuke with a two count on that pin. Yeah, yeah, we, we changed it to only one per stream because we were having the uh, title. It was impossible for people to get the three defenses consecutively because it was constant triple threats and fatal four ways. At one point, I think we was looking at a battle royale. So, because so many people redeemed. So, we've, uh, we've changed that. Probably for the better. We'll see how it goes. Uh, if you're referring... Okay, right. So, I haven't actually made this announcement on the Discord yet. So, uh, you got fucked out of your title because Marcus has turned around and said that he's taking a break. And now he's here for some reason. So, whatever. You're going to... You're gonna, if some... Like, it's not your fault. I know it's not your fault there, K-Back. But I ain't having people that haven't earned the title. Because to let everyone know, K-Back offered um, finding another partner. But I'm not letting a title get... Oh, the elevator. title. Well, no, you did get fucked out of that. You got beaten for that. Someone won that. <laughs> I'm fucking... Oh, nine towels. I'm fucking tired, man. It's it's a long day. It's a long day. I'll make, I, I, I'm planning to make an announcement soon about that, like tonight during the stream anyway, so we'll just see what happens here. Nine tails going for a pin. I'm doing all right, man. It's been a day. How you doing, Sender? I'm nine tails with a two count. Um, so, yeah, basically, uh, Marcus has said that because of health issues, you know, like I say, I'm not holding this against anyone. This is just an unfortunate turn of events. Because of health issues, um, he's not going to be around for a while. And K-Back hasn't exactly been active due to work. Again, we don't hold that against him. Life comes, real life comes first. But we're, we're going to hold a tournament, essentially a tag tournament, um, to see who's going to go up against the Blood Hunters at WrestleMania for the tag belts. Uh, K-Back, if he manages to be be a little bit more active, we'll give him a shot at a, um, a singles title or another shot at the uh, tag titles at some point as well. Like, so, okay, so you're going to be chatting on Discord, but you're not going to be, like, you know, active with streams and matches, is what you're saying. Because this, if this is another miscommunication, I'm not changing my mind on this. Right? Like, the decision's been made at this point. I don't mean to be an arse. You know, but... Like, we've, we've, we've started the process now. Uh, yeah. Basically, that's just how it's going. Last like time, I'll sort, I'll sort it out with K-Back. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out for him. Um without any issues. Also, I'm not really holding the situation against anyone, but, like, the decisions are made. Okay. Like Marcus is, uh, has been removed from the match card completely at this point. And the pay-per-view match card. So, Marcus at the moment is gone uh, whether you want to add a kayfabe reason to that, it's up to you. I don't think we've had a full yet, have we? Could be one now, though. Choke Sam off the top rope. I guess two count. Seriously, have we even had a full? We've only got a minute left. I've got to check. We might have to uh, increase the time limit on, on these matches. I'm not going to lie. No one's had a full. could have one now but I'm going to turn off that uh... I don't think we get both falls I think this is going to be another Hutchie situation when it turns around and says draw even though uh, Saskia may get a fall in about 30 seconds oh she's bridged it two count again wow I've got a minute for someone to get a fall otherwise this is literally a draw 
So who saw the Game Awards or anything from the Game Awards? Anyone been uh, paying attention to that? Saskia now. Oh, she wants the pin. She's going for the fairy tale ending. Hi, right, Cincy. Who's Cincy? Oh, Sis. Sis. Right. Three seconds to go. Oh, Saskia going for the Kimura lock after the pin. Nine tails taps in the last 30 seconds. Saskia gets two points on the board and wins. Wow. That was me thinking, oh, we might have to actually change this uh, match type completely and figure out something else. We got a couple of those tonight, though, so we will find out. We'll find out, like, how you guys feel about it. So we just had a result between Nine Tails and Saskia, where Saskia got two points with the last eight seconds after the match being even, for the most part, from what I saw. So getting a shock du uh, double point in the end for the win. But we had uh, last uh, last stream we had Hutchie in the same match time get a single point, but because the time limit ran out, it count, it count, the game counted as a draw, which is uh, I'm not sure about that one. Because so I'd say that's a win because he was one nil up, right? Time went off, but you know. Right, Cinder versus Patrick H. Same stipulation. I say we're experimenting. How many times are gonna kill me? I think uh, I think Nine Tails and Sasuke have got decent matches. To be fair. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I think they're all right. But GG's there, Nine Tails. GG's Fox Queen. I mean, brain. Right, oh, bleh. so yeah, we're having a tag tournament at the cage pay-per-view. The hardcore titles have been uh, removed from the from the pay-per-view, unfortunately, uh, to make room. Uh, not a problem. Uh, we already have a new tag team form for the tournament, and essentially, whoever. This is going to be a four-team tournament. Whoever wins at that pay-per-view, like, they're going to have to win two matches um, on the same night. And whoever wins that pay-per-view, uh, that tournament, sorry, get, goes on to WrestleFest for the tag titles. So, we've got two tournaments concluding at WrestleMania now. A little tag tournament with the with the final match since she gets the Blood Hunters um, WrestleFest. And then... The World Cup, so yeah, it's all a bit mad. Hey, Morg, how's it going, man? I should be skipping this. That's right, sir. You slap those stairs. Patrick H. Said to get us started. Patrick H, former hardcore champion. And his first down the main roster, won the hardcore title. Sender yet to win a belt in SDCW yet, but I think his time might be coming. He just needs to turn around this bad luck. If he goes on a win streak, though, you best believe he's going to end up with gold. No worries, Brett. You're all good. Never fear, Morg is here. <laughs> oh, man. That's the point. I should probably message Pat. Like, yo, you're on, dude. Sending Sender to the corner. Sender escapes. Nice face breaker. It's funny. Uh, I think Morg would have might have appreciated the intro to the uh, to the stream today. We had Herald of Darkness from Alan Wake 2 playing. <laughs> 
I need to get that game. I'm debating on getting it. Maybe, maybe, maybe playing it on the stream, but it might freak me out a little bit because shadow people, I don't do well with shadow people. Oh, leg drop. Was draped on the bottom rope. No worries. Uh, fuck. Ah, uh, nice night you here for the uh, Pokemon, not the wrestling. <laughs> yeah, you have people. They're on Alan Wake. That and people's, um, you know, sleep paralysis hallucinations. Just working on the knee. Multiple elbow drops, trying to take away that base on the super heavyweight that is slender. See, I, I, I got you, bro. I know, I know you. Oh, what? <laughs> what the range on that el elbow drop off the top rope? Nice Northern Light suplex there. Ah, I've had no falls yet. Okay, uh, Pat, we got a oh, send over the the flapjack or whatever the fuck that was. Um, we've got a two out of three fall with ten minute time limit. No one's uh, caught full yet, so. Experimental, experimental match time. Implant DDT, center of the ring. Oh, Slender's not finished. Face buster, face. Flap, jack, wank. Oh, what a time for a counter from Pat. No, and again. Ah. Patrick H, phenomenal forearm from our no he duped Slender. Gets the two count. Patrick H does have a new moveset. That was a nice moment. I'm quite impressed with that. I'm not sure what that was. But whatever it was, I'm sure he got an FTU spider that's infiltrate the SCCW Retribution arena. <laughs> oh, the springboard sing shot. Any high fly moves a risk. If you got a guy that doesn't, they're going to miss a few. But when they land, they can be so fucking useful. The amount of times you turn something around just from a springboard move from out of nowhere. Just... Oh, curb stomp. Patrick H may be in trouble here. There's a spear close to the ropes, though. Wait, I'm so going to go back to my game. What game are you playing, man? Oh, cross face. Slender, who's on a big loss streak here. Maybe turn the corner tonight. Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, there'll be the old Zelda. How is it anyway? How is that game? Is it working out alright? I'm thinking about getting Baldur's Gate and Alan Wake 2, but I've got to get Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and uh, WWE 2K24 first. There's too many games and not enough time. So good, nice. Do they still have um, weapon degradation on that? Do the weapons still break? Because that's kind of like that's kind of annoying. Because that used to happen. Uh... Breath of the Wild. You used to have on Breath of the Wild. Ah, damn it. Did anyone watch the Game Awards or anything from the Game Awards? Am I the only one that's that nerdy that watches the Game Awards? Because. Um, not be funny. I'll be straight. I'll be like sort of streaming it if um, it weren't at, like starting at 2 a.m. for me. Yeah, Blade looks alright. 
We had a rebirth trailer that was uh, spoilerific. <laughs> I think uh, Petrovic just got busted open on the outside. So they send us back into the ring. Um, Sega's making a big comeback. I'm looking forward to that. New Streets of Rage. Sign me the fuck up. Oh. Well, I'm not sure he calls this, but Styles Clash. Somehow, Slender kicks out. Jurassic Park Survival makes it actually looks like it would make you piss your pants. Well, we've not seen this is a whole new Patrick. We've not seen him do high flying moves like that before. Oh! Someone's uh, been training. There's a forearm again. Can Patrick get on the board? He can. He took down the big man for a point. <laughs> Die already. <laughs> what a jump suplex. Slender getting out of dodge for a moment there. Two minutes left in this match. Can send a tight up or will Patrick H score another point? Oh. Running set up, power bomb. Oh, well, yeah, that's uh, that, that reminds me of the ones from the uh, PlayStation 2, the, the Dragon Ball Z game. Um, oh, send a setting up. Well, here we go, F5. Close to the ropes again. Well, that tied things up. We've got less than 90 seconds to get another point. That looked painful. Oh, what a neck breaker. Going for a quick pin. Patrick H. From out of nowhere with that neck breaker. Gets the second point on the board. But yeah, what do you guys think of that match type with the 10 minute time limit, two out of three falls? What are we thinking? Is it a fun one? Um, I appreciate the lurk there, Pat. You have a good one. Enjoy Tears of the Kingdom, man. What do we think of that match type, though? That was a good match. I like that match. Sorry, I'm just having a bit of problem with uh, cable management. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you can call it. Very important that people like that. Crow! Now, Crow, I have to apologise. Well, actually, you said that you were going to get a new guy in. I was going to say, I haven't got Crow downloaded uh, yet, but you said you were going to get a new guy in. Also, I noticed that uh, a version of Declan Mannix went fucking missing. I don't know when that happened, but he went missing like uh, the court mile stuff. Luckily, we've got more slots now, so it shouldn't be a problem, but uh, people going missing is a real, really, is really quite annoying. All right, on. Patrick Gage with the win, doing the predictions, doing the predictions. Due to recent rescheduling, these two will face off at WrestleFest for the title, not at Caged. Zoe, number one contender for the Women's Hardcore title. Protoc Tista has essentially 
unless something changes from between now and then secured her place at Wrestlemania essentially oh it's H's birthday joyous vaginal evacuation uh, anniversary to you my friend happy birthday H Technically not his debut. That was just that was a World Cup match, but you can count it as a debut if you want. You can count it as a debut, but yeah, that was a crazy match. Welcome back, Pub Master Luke. Yeah, it's technically used like representing um, SWF there, but it's all good. It was a good way to say hi. <laughs> I still just can't. I can't with the with the fucking head. Like, he looks like, it's like Mad Bear Pig, but Pepsi Horse Man. <laughs> Pepsi Man Horse Cow. Oh! On the ladder on the outside. Was that an Emerald Flosion? What fucking move was that? So if people have just joined the stream, we now have a, a mini tag team tournament happening at Caged to determine who's going to go up against the Blood Hunters at WrestleFest for the tag titles. So the hardcore titles are no longer on the card. Things have happened. Stuff has been been done. Solutions have been made. Where's Beauty at? We need Beauty in here. offline oh what a back elbow oh thank you my bear I appreciate that H is now subscribed we now have a subscribe heart break squid <laughs> yeah, if anyone's wondering why the uh, song is so long, um, essentially Pro kept um, gifting subs so she could hear the song. And uh, so I made it a longer version of the song. And now it lasts forever. Uh, yeah, H is mad with the uh, gift subs over at FTU. Uh, H is awesome, dude. We like H. Well, this has been a bit pre even match. against the Royal Rumble winner. It's an interesting scenario we've got going on here because uh, Zoe being the number one consent. Oh, shit, yeah. She won the w Women's Rumble, didn't she? Well, Zoe might be doing double duty at WrestleFest and then something changes. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, she won the Women's Rumble at the Great London Bash and she's got a match against the Women's Champion, Carmen Wrestlefest. She might also be competing for the Hardcore title on the same night. Someone get fucking Hutchie in here. We need to tell him stuff. <laughs> I'm losing the DM. check that. Sorry, I, I'm going to be checking things for a moment. Ah. I was incorrect.
Yeah. <laughs> We've got a table in the ring now. So he definitely give him pro run for our money. Oh, nice on Karana. Can't ever count pro out. Fro suicide crossbody taking out Zoe on the outside of the ring. <laughs> Hachi, we've got an interesting uh, little thing for you to know, uh, as you've just turned up, as far as I know. Um, so you might be doing double duty at WrestleMania. <laughs> she might be going for the hardcore title and the women's title on the same night, on the biggest night. Because stuff happened. I'm sure Ashley can fill you in. Double one, the huge butterfly suplex with a release. Totally not intended. Wanting to try and get everyone to have at least one match, and like, or as many people as possible at least. But um, yeah, oh, flapjack. But yeah, it's working out that you're going to end up with two matches with, um, with Zoe. Boom. So that was just uh, Ashley Mannix adding me as a friend on the play of station. Throw the bat. This could change things. Yeah, Baldur's Gate winning uh, all those awards. I am totally for that. Those guys, an indie studio embarrassing the shit out of Bethesda and that with, um, with their RPG release and selling 20 million copies. Totally deserved. I know a lot of uh, Spider-Man 2 fans are a bit disappointed, but I'm not surprised. I don't think that... Uh, like Spider-Man 2 is probably a great game. I've played the first one. Um, but it's, ju it's, it's just a novel like, sort of Spider-Man game, you know, where it's like you had Alan Wake 2. That was huge. Tears of the Kingdom as well. Stiff competition. Oh, there's the inverted Alabama slam. Now the camel clutch. Zoe gets a win over Pro. Well, that is huge. That is huge. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've seen clips and stuff of uh, Baldur's Gate, and um, I'm making it a point to whenever I'm seeing someone um, <laughs> talking about how they've played it through multiple times and how great the game is, I'm making a point of turning around to them saying, yeah, like, did you know that you can turn into a wheel of cheese? And they're like, what? I've completed this game four times. And I didn't know I could turn to cheese. How do I do that? I'm like, I don't know. You piss off some NPC and they turn you into cheese. <laughs> I'm sending people out to search for the cheese quest. <laughs> Go find that cheese. Become the Wednesday now. Alright, little clown. First is Odin. Odin so far dominating this rivalry. Oh. <laughs> Gross, I gotta find the cheese. Alright, 
well, here we go. Odin looking like a strong, hardcore champion. Let's see if he can keep it up. I've no doubt that at some point Little Clown's going to become a hardcore champion. At some point. I don't know if it's now though. Elevate drop kick. Oh, really? Oh, you're going to have to hit me up on the DMs about that there. Um, uh, you're going to you're gonna have to let me know. Irish whip to the ropes. Again, 2K can't do running moves. He's got the wrist lock. Hurricanrana off the top rope. Nice show of agility and skill. The crowd wants tables, but Clown wants a ladder. Odin loves those slaps, man. Loves the slaps. I made sure that uh, Hachi has a match tonight as well. Oh, big hammer fist to the spine. Clown going for a roll up. Kick it out quickly. I do think one thing that 2K needs to improve is the weapons. Like they need to react when they land on them and stuff. Oh, went for the basement drop kick, doesn't get it. Little clown now with a kendo stick. It looks like he's going for whatever advantage he can get over Odin, bringing all these tools into the ring. Whatever he brings, Odin can use as well, but Little Clown with the advantage yet again. Oh, oh Little Clown, sunset flip. Another quick pin. Odin. Goes for the hammer. Oh. That elevated drop kick again. Clown using that to great effect. And there's the table. And apparently that just lives there now. Back and forth between these two. Huge Uranagi, low black, landing on that ladder. See, if they might add a reaction animation for that, that would be incredible. That would be awesome. Looking. Oh, 2K can't do running moves yet again. Constantly back and forth. Constantly counting each other. Oh. Running power bomb. Neil Crown's neck and face getting driven into that barricade. Full way slam on the outside. So that power bomb made the difference. Oh, 
Oh, Spanish fly. Can't okay, well be the uh, scrappiest character on the roster. So uh, when it comes to Blade, I'm going to reserve my judgment on that one. I'm going to wait for reviews and stuff. Because, I mean, like, it looks like... I don't know. Oh, some sort of kill switch. Odin could be in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to wait for reviews on that one. See what happens. Nearly puts the hardcore champion away. Uh, I'm not sure about the uh, Blade movie that may or may not be coming out. They've had uh, like reshoots and all sorts going on with that. Um, you know, and it's, I think it's going to be PG-13. It's like you can't do a Blade at PG-13, really. I mean, come on. It's Blade. Codebreaker! Odin quick to respond to that somersault kill switch. This is a close match. Oh, Dragon Car. Doesn't go for the pin. Lil Khan may have made a mistake, like an error in judgment. He didn't pin Odin when he had the chance. Didn't get all that knee. Some sort of kill switch. Lil Clown might put Odin away. He did! Wow! I'll be completely honest, I did not see that coming. At all. POC are going to be very happy with that win. I did already. <laughs> oh, Sim versus McGill. McGill with a clear advantage so far in this rivalry but tonight seems to be a night of turnarounds we'll see what happens momentarily predictions up oh dear I think there, there was other Trailers that I talk to no more. I do this at the end, like every event, um, a gaming event. I, I I make a couple of notes. Uh, Persona 3 Reloaded. Looking forward to that one. Metaphor Di Di Fantasio. Um, if you like Persona or SMT games, which I do, that might be one to look out for me. No rest of the wicked look good for Fallen. She's like into that. Yeah, there weren't, there weren't much that I took note of aside from like the Sega games. I'm definitely up for those. Jet Set Radio, Crazy Taxi, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage and more. I'm looking forward to there being like a, a Virtua Cop or a Sega Rally or Virtua Fire. Little Clown's a fucking scrappy little bastard. That's what he is. He's a scrappy little fucker. Gotta love him. Alright. Here we go. Clothesline starts off. Straight away. Breaking the rules with that face break. Get wasted no time. 
Again, this one started air raid crash neck breaker. I always hated Scrappy from Scooby-Doo. Like, when they did the film, I wasn't surprised he was the bad guy. Nice back elbow from Slim getting out of that situation, but gets caught by McGill. Butterfly powerbomb. Big suplex. and taking the fight to the heavyweight champion. Ripcord knee strike. Again with the butterfly power one. Goes for the pin this time. Hey, Impact, that's good, man. You all good? Let's figure out when you're next streaming. I'll drop you a shout out, actually. Should probably drop uh, Pro a shout out as well, because she um, dropped the sub down. I'll do that in a minute. Coming at number. Oh my god, just got leveled by Mr. Blobby. So we've got a rumble clip. Did you just say Mr. Blobby? Inferno. Mr. Bobby, Mr. Ball. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. Oh, <laughs> little Slimmy. <laughs> Takes down the heavyweight champion. Guilty. An inferno. Here. Jesus Christ. My respect for you has just dropped dramatically. Mr. Blobby, come on. Slimmy at the top rope. Goes to the outside. Flying clothesline. Takes down McGill. McGill is. In trouble after that little slimmy. That's why he calls it a little slimmy. It's just how he rolls. For the follow, Spooky Misty. I appreciate you. Welcome to AWF. My name is Pro. Uh, how's your Saturday going? And someone's redeemed pro flex. Okay, if, if this if this rips my dress, all right, because I've got bigger arms since I got this dress. Oh, explode the suplex on the outside. Yeah, check out Pro though, she's great. We love her. It's all bicep. Um, Currently runs so... AWF Unleashed, but that show might anyway, get cancelled. Uh, she does this do just... Western RPGs like Fallout and Starfield. Definitely worth a look. Roughly a four count, McGill bringing it back into the ring. Hey, Slim, how's it going, man? Oh, that is an important reversal, potentially. We've already, McGill's already got hit by a little Slimmy, but didn't manage to get that uh, sharpshooter, I think he was looking for. Big elbow drop off the top, goes to the pin. Two count. Oh. The knee! Oh, Mc McGill nearly puts him away with that one. Barely kicks out. It looks like he went for another sharpshooter, but didn't get it. Well, there's the crowning. McGill kicks out too. Very close match. Him up top, goes for the double foot stop, gets it, going for another pin. Gil kicks out one. Onto the safety of the ropes. Oh, gets the foot up. 
Doesn't get the base from drop kick. Slim rolling out of the way. Oh, here we go. Slim, the showstopper. Could he have just put away McGill? McGill kicks out two again. Mad at yourself, man. Shit happens. Oh, Regal Plex. Slim has uh, had McGill scouted for much of this match, get, catching out all those sharpshooters over and over again. Japanese arm drag. What a response to McGill's deep arm drag. Okay. Drop kick, taking Sim to the outside. Gil patiently waiting for Sim to get back into the ring. Oh, McGill with a suicide dive. Sim sees it. Gets out of, gets out of the way of that one. Sim potentially with the advantage going back into the ring. strike oh fall away slam from McGill I've never actually seen him do that I've never seen him do that that was a carry move he doesn't usually do those Oh, Snapdragon suplex on the outside. Move Thief took down McGill. Sim has the clear advantage in this match now. Sim down up top. Goes to the elbow drop, doesn't get it. Looks like Sim's going for a, for a spring ball maneuver, but got scared by McGill. Nasty draw breaker. Going for the pin. McGill kicks out of two. That would have been bad. That would have been a Brett Storm if I went down from a stomp to the hill. <laughs> So Looked like McGill was trying to set up for the running back elbow then. Didn't manage to get it. Does McGill even have the range for that? Apparently he does. Diving elbow drop of the top rope, pinned the centre of the ring. Doesn't get it. This match is so close. Oh, McGill with a back elbow. He's not done. Snapdragon suplex, there's the bridge. McGill barely scrapes a win out of that one. Slim. So close to beating McGill then. That was, that was neck and neck all the way through. Oh, GG Slim. Apparently, since being Brett Storm, 
at the Great London Bash. Gil is now on fire. Right, I'm going to do a quick BRB. I will not to be long. Plus, we get to use the uh, the World Cup be right back screen. Whoop whoop. I'm just going to let this song run out because it keeps picking it for whatever reason. I might end up removing it from the playlist. Because this Spotify is obsessed with playing it. I don't know why. Oh, he's back. How's it going, guys? Oh, right. World Cup match. FTU versus FWF. Hold on. Let's check that real quick. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. I'm, I'm bit, my brain is having a moment. Sorry about that, guys. Right, 
The following contest is an extreme rules match. No, the fuck it ain't. Making our way to the ring. Why has this decided that it's an extreme rules match? No, no, no. No, no, no. If it, were, if it weren't the World Cup, I'd be like, sure, fine, we'll go with it. But no. No, no, no. That's not, that's not how we're rolling with this one. Right, I will say this is probably going to be one of the closer matches of the uh, World Cup tournament so far. Kelsey Mitch is uh, a bit of a tough one. And well, we all know how tough Ashley Mannix is being our uh, champion for so long. 2% off 100 or something. Okay, on what? <laughs> Yeah, of course you can. I, I, I do the entrances for the World Cup matches. I don't skip them. Predictions are up. Of course, SWF, they like to have custom uh, theme tunes, so this is silent. The only thing that I am slightly disappointed about with the World Cup, but I couldn't get hold of everyone to ask what they want their theme to be in... Uh, in jest, well, not in jest, in uh, as a replacement, sorry. Um, and here we are. I'd love to see what that was meant to look like with the uh, theme tune that they actually used. Do you know what I mean? Because like the animation, in a way, is a bit of a cool entrance. Like they made it their own, but I, like without the music, I'm sort of like, you know, don't know. We are 13 followers away from hitting our goal 300 at the moment. Here comes Ashley Mannix for FTU. The Chaos Queen herself. It'll be a sad day when this entrance animation isn't in a WWE games anymore. Got to be sad. And this theme. Yeah, the only reason that uh, McGill ended up with gold medalist as his theme when he had his little uh, mini gimmick change is because I knew that Ashley Mannix was fond of this theme. This, this was nearly McGill's theme. <laughs> oh, I know how you feel. Uh, what was it? Damien Sandow. He had, an, he had a pretty basic entrance, but he just used to walk in, he'd, he'd lean up against the ropes, looking like he's ready for a fight. Uh, I used to have that, and then they removed that, and I was pissed. Oh, nice reversal on the uh, float over DDT from Kelsey Mitch. Ashley Mannix saw through that one. Headlock driver. Way to say hello. First of the round of 16, FTU, SWF, women's. Coming out with a stunner. 
Ashley Maddox in control. Again, all calls were if they weren't adhering to the rules were adjusted to 85 over rules and tested against uh, Michaels, McGill and Saskia to make sure that they were fair and even. Basically, Michael gets a win against Yorko, Yorko gets a win against Michael. Happy days. We keep ma doing matches until it happens. Unless we end up with like 10 matches with one side winning, and then, in which case I made adjustments. <laughs> Page. That doesn't surprise me. Page is great. I mean, think he still is, but, you know. I'm going for a quick pin. But he gets a one count. Not sure you can get a quick advance like that, but strange things have happened, I suppose. Dragon actually makes to the ropes. Can we see Mitch now? Big roundhouse kick off the springboard. Actually, Max went for a big boot and didn't get it. What the fuck? Well, you can never underestimate the Chaos Queen. Huge basement drop kick to the spine. Ashley Maddox, for the most part so far, has had the advantage. You've got to show that you can run the ropes, I guess. Russian leg sweep. Well, it looks like that Ashley Maddox actually got Kelsey Mitch's number. There's that reverse thing. Splash hits it first try. Going for the pin. Kelsey Mitch barely kicked out. The SWF would like would love to get a win right now because they only got one. Missed the big elbow drop. They only got one uh, in the men's side of the bracket. Tug Mukau saving SWF from a Clean sweep against Declan Mannix, so Ashley Mannix is looking to get some payback in a way. And rolls her up. Air raid crash, neck breaker, driving that back of the skull and neck into the knee. Headlock driver on the outside, planting the top of the skull on the floor that's barely padded. Why she makes waste of no time with the big moves on the outside. Electric chair drop, taking advantage of the, uh, the hard surface. Gets that elbow drop. Oh yeah, Mannix is fucking nuts. Well, that was probably the easiest win we've had so far in the World Cup. That was a dominant display. Ashley Mannix for solid victory. Chill Cup, another point to FTU. That's four. Right now, as far as the team scoring goes, it's between FTU and AWF. If the SDCW side gets a win over AWF tonight, then FTU takes the lead. Right, next next show, Elevate Time. We still haven't had anyone claim a title match for the men's Elevate title, so 
if you want that title shot, get on it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Think Queen wrote on. BMK, we haven't seen in a while. Uh, Mercury. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the point. Oh, uh, yeah, what? Because I know he's here, I know BMK isn't. That's right, Tug Muka is making a, a debut on Elevate after his uh, World Cup win. <laughs> right, let's have a look. We've got Tiger versus Sonya Suzuki. Elevate Championship. Let's check this. Men's Elevate Morg. Morg has paid. Okay, so we'll, we'll change that match. Uh, who can we put in there? I haven't seen Dragon. I've seen Gambit. Gambit's already got a match. Level zero to that light in chat today. Or max card, to be fair. Or retro. Just, just, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Right, Maul versus Gambit. Oh wait, it's D in it, fucking hell. Alright, we're locked in. Let's go. Yeah, that is the guy. Let's go, uh, let me just quickly... This will be the first time that Max Kai hasn't had a match. Since he, uh, debuted. So that's a good one. Well, that was interesting. Webb's going for big... Discus clothesline, but that's gig. It's cool out by Raster X. Raster X has not had the best start on SDCW yet, but he's looking to make a turnaround against Webbs, who had an impressive debut. If I win, I'll drop a promo. <laughs> that's the point. Ooh, I've got to remind myself. Uh, Quinn. Quinn, 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 Quinn. Uh, 
issues. Ah, it's fine. All right, cool. That is the fire. Oh, Webb's working on. Rasterix is on. Big elbow, get out of that corner. Gonna come at a bad time. I hope they fix the referees in a uh, universe mode to actually use the refs that you want rather than just all being WWE refs as well. Hope that's sorted. Swinging neck breaker, a lot of snap on that. Oh, hey, JSM, how's it going, man? Give me a sec. Let's see if we can get you in a match. Uh, that changed. Yeah, I know where I'll put you. I, I know where I'll put you. Because Queen Rhodes on main here and she hasn't been about really. Not that I've seen anyway. How you doing, JSM? Like, you been good? Welcome back. Spill to the outside now. A lot back and forth between these two. Neither of them want to give an inch. Oh, huge brain buster though. On the outside. Ah, good shit, good shit, man. That's a nasty knee drop. Ah. Oh. Xplex. Restrix not done. I went for a round ass kick, but Webb saw through it. Comes back one of his own. Oh. Uh High -oh. back suplex. Rasta kicks out. Webb's up on the top rope, looking to go airborne to the outside. Oh! Diving Swanton! Yeah, I didn't expect that, I'll be honest. I didn't know it was part of his moveset. <laughs> oh, nice springboard knee strike. Oh, sorry. Uh oh. Webs now. That spinning back heel. Rasta quick gets to his feet though, but gets caught by Webbs. That was an interesting manoeuvre. Seriously, the amount of reversals in this match. Like half the damage done has been from reversals. What a DDT! to look at the uh, the tournament brackets man is that tonight is it tonight I don't I don't think it's tonight no it's paralyzer versus slim we're starting off with slim which means that we're going from the bottom up uh, Rasta gets a two count yours will be the next one so uh, it's probably at the pay-per-view Another X Pex. X Gold, give it to you. Oh, Rolling Thunder Stunner. See, so you'll probably be getting your first tournament match on a pay per view. Wow. 
series of forearms. That DDT on the outside as well. Boy, he's Rasterix. He's going to give it to you. I still think the X-Plex should be his uh, finishing move, to be honest. Oh, hey, Max. I was literally just saying that this might be the first time that you are not in a match. Uh, for Elevate since your debut. Because shit has been moved around. Uh, there's definitely no pain here. I know that he doesn't chat much, but he's always here. Defno Pain is not here. Huh. Okay. That's that's cool. That's cool. We can get you in a match then. We can get you in a match. Uh, let me think. Sorry, I'm booking whilst the match is going on. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'll that. That's locked in. Because uh, someone, Dr. Moore, Dr. Moore redeemed the um, championship challenge. So, so you are you are a little late for that. There, Max. Dr. Moore's going after Gambit. Yeah, doing good. It's been a bit of a day, uh, but we're doing good now. We are doing well with the stream. We've had a couple of subs. We've had We've had a lot of people chatting, it's been active, it's, it's cheered me right up. You know, so, sometimes you just like, oh, I don't know if I can be involved in the stream, it's been, it's been a stressful day, I don't know if I'll be able to be, you know, joyful and I don't want to be sitting there going, uh, that was a nice suplex, I'm so fucking miserable, uh, do you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, you guys, ha like, always seem to manage to chit, like, perk me right the fuck up within the first, like, 10, 15 minutes of the stream. Um, then we just go, and I'm in a good mood for the rest of the night. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys. Oh, huge front drop kick. Webbs is just not afraid to go airborne to the outside ever. I'll say this though, if uh, I, like depending on what happens tonight, if Gambit retains or if he doesn't, I might have to have a word with you, Max, about you know what you want to do for the uh, pay-per-view, right? Because at the moment it's it's booked in as uh, Gambit versus Max Carter for the title, and Raster X has been busted open. Um, obviously, if Gambit like drops the title tonight, you're still going to want to do that or you're going to want to go in the elimination chamber instead? Do you know what I mean? We'll figure it out. That was a nine count, but Webbs gets back in the ring barely. I love that DDC. Rats to go for a pin. Well, it would appear that Webbs might not have wanted to get into a ring with the bad man. Oh, Webbs kicks out too. I thought it was over. Oh, it may be now. Xplex. Not going for the pin. That could have been a mistake. That might have been a really big mistake. Huge knee strike from Webbs. Right. Literally, I was like, it's done. I'm going to do like a fucking match. A frog splash outside. How many fucking outside dives do you want to do? Um, I was literally doing a wrap up then. I was going, looks like Webbs didn't want to get into the ring with the bad man. And then he kicks out. <laughs> Why'd you do that to me, Webbs? <laughs> oh, jeez.
Give extra power. <laughs> that, that elevates sometimes, Chad. The longest matches. That's the longest matches on the card, I swear. Oh! Missing that elbow drop. The, you can see the blood now pouring down X's face. Oh, what a moonsault. Takes out Webbs. Oh, Rasta going up top. Oh, big... Uh, fuck you. Worst time to fucking you Seriously, that DDT has been really effective in this match. Well, there it is. Rast directs a much needed win. Yeah, man. Wimps doesn't get a, a second win. Raster X forming a wall. And Wimps can get across. X did indeed give it to him. You, you watch, you watch Yoda now, um, use X gon give it to you in the fucking promo. <laughs> oh, that would actually crease me up. I'd be fucking folded, man. I'd be folded on the floor laughing. I'd be fucked up. All right, let's get Max Carr in, Max Carter. Seriously, the guy's a fucking monster on uh, Elevate so far. JSM, no one struggle, former Elevate champion, but so is Max Carr. Max Carr is actually a two-time Elevate champion at this point. Uh, no, you don't need to book your court. You should have a match. Yeah, you got a match uh, against me. In fact, that's still labelled as a cross-division match, but it isn't. Because we're in the same division, so I'm going to fix that. There was some last minute bookings. Hachi ended up against me. Yeah, I hope you guys like the new Elevate Arena. I know that, like, you saw it last stream, but yeah. I'm quite pleased with it. Oh yeah, we haven't seen Max Carter's uh, entrance with the music yet, so here you go Max, a proper entrance that you never got before. I mean like, I, I was, it was last minute booking uh, there Hutch and I was just like, fuck it, he can go against me, sort of thing, and um, yeah, that's how we, how we landed on that. Um, well, I mean, we always put on good matches, so it should be a fun one. <laughs> Just a one-on-one. -on -one. Nothing special. Don't fucking injure me, for fuck's sake. <laughs> It was a rebellion match though, so I couldn't do that. Because you're technically on retribution.
You know what? I think that animation works, that music. Here we go, former Elevate champion against former Elevate champion. JSM being the inaugural Elevate champion and Max Carter being probably one of the biggest threats on the Elevate roster right now. Double champion. Could be an interesting match. Big forearm. Oops, saw that one coming. Rolls out of the way. Both of these men, though, their histories on developmental look like they could be a major threat to the main roster when they go up. I believe JSM is booked on the pay-per-view as well. Yeah, JSM is booked in the Elevate Men's Elimination Chamber. If he wins that match, he gets promoted. We haven't obviously uh, made the full card announcement just yet, but... For the women's Elevate Elimination Chamber, we've got Mason, Masonya Suzuki, TKO, Ivy Valentine, Stephanie Blackvale, Quinn, and Tiger. And then for the men's, we've got Level Zero, JSM, Squid Boy, Retro Nicotine, David Pope, and Beck Williams. Currently, Max Cutter is booked against Gambit, but we'll see the, what the result of tonight's championship match is, and that might get rebooked. Oh, big back elbow. Yeah, she would, I believe. I believe you're right there. We could actually have our first... Uh, yeah, we could... Uh, tonight, we could have our first promotion via a three-time champion. He did do a Judas effect. Huge clothesline in the basement. Oh, there's that like calf kick. Goes to the pin. It's a two count on Max Carr. Muffin button. Spilled to the outside. Well, Max Carr breaks the count early. Everyone loves that headlock driver today. We've seen a lot of headlock drivers. Uh oh. High angle back suplex out the floor. Max Card seeing off against JSM, former the inaugural Elevate champion. Uh oh, he just sent JSM to the concrete. This could be dangerous, or not? Because fuck me, I guess. I have to read it after the stream. <laughs> oh! Nice hip toss. Goes for a quick pin. Max Car kicks out. One. Oh, here we go. Max Car taking the fight to JSM. Triple clotheslines. 
Oh, gets caught. Oh. Nice wrestling takedown then. That was interesting. Did he get reversed? Like, what was that? I've seen this before. Dumping Kara into the back of his skull. Kicks out of two. Big clothesline turns Max Car inside out. Max Car kicks out again. They should have ended it. The resiliency of the two time Elevate champion is astounding. JSM hopping up to the top rope. Quick fashion. Oh, Fame Arthur. Burst with momentum from Max Carr. Um, off the top rope. Nice maneuver. Max Car in control at the moment. Seems to do whatever he can to get the win over JSM. Definitely a main event level match. Oh. Goes up for the... Oh, no. Powerbomb's the apron. Big swing. Sending Max Carl into the stairs. Referee a six count. Max Carl out on the outside. Jason breaks the count. Not for exploded suplex. Ooh, driving the spine into that barricade, you said. Max Carr makes his way into the ring. Taking a breather whilst he waits for JSM. Sends JSM back straight back to the outside. Gives him the finger. That could have been an important reversal. Back and forth for these two now. Huge drop kick then. Oh, that did it. JSM manages to claw the win out of the clutches of Max Carter then. That was a close match. Literally, even one of them could have got the win then. That was a huge match. Literally, either one, either one get a pin then, and that was it. Both of them would have clawed a win on that one. That was great. 10 out of 10. I just realized I didn't do predictions for any of the Elevate matches so far. I am sorry.
we'll be doing predictions for this. I'm, I am sorry, I forgot to do predictions for those last two matches. Oh, we've got Sug Moo Cow against Squid Boy of all things. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. You have a muffin. I'm sorry, man. I, did, I didn't do the muffin thing. I did it. How'd you get that muffin? Muffin bun? I didn't stall a muffin bun. Then how did I get this muffin? Yeah. So I've cut. Yeah, well, I'm letting, letting intros run for these two because reasons. Tug Mukau making his official SDCW debut after his uh, World Cup match. And here's the Heartbreak Squid, the fan favourite, the show stopper, Squid Boy. What are you doing, Step Bro? I'm just admiring the Squid Man. Hey, I just realised I'm no longer the palest character on the roster. <laughs> oh man! What happened? I'm no longer the paid person on the roster. That's what happened. He's just a sexy squid. He's not your squid toy. Hands off the tentacles. Just a sexy squid. I'm no longer the police guard on the roster. Check that out. Who the fault? What a turn of events. Already this is a historical match. Before even started. So now someone whiter than McGill. I think, okay, uh, <laughs> when Squid Boy gets on the main roster, I think we're going to have to make a, um, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Impact, uh, we're going to have to make that a, um, a command, Heartbreak Squid Chance. <laughs> I need to change the gimmick to fucking Bret Hart or... Or fucking Elmer Warrior or something. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Bastard. <laughs> You're doing it all. I'm going to need uh, details for the entrance motion and the victory. Uh, like, like, just write down everything that you put in there. It saves me time. Uh, when I'm adding it to, to the universe mode because the um, unfortunately just uh, you can't just copy it over in universe mode you actually have to enter the entrances in manually it's infuriating but yeah that's all good we'll get that done we'll get that done we'll get that done for the pay-per-view I've still got characters I've got to download that I haven't had a chance to get as well, but I, I, I recently having Declan Mannix disappear off the roster is making me concerned because if he's disappeared off the roster, does that mean that the faction's been deleted? If the faction's been deleted, then I'm gonna have to recreate the Prophets of Chaos again. So, yeah, I don't know when Declan got like went missing. Oh, 
Back and forth between these two on the outside. Referee at five count. I mean, the same goes for everyone that, uh, that I've created. Um, like, you know, basically, I'm, I'm giving full reign, but it's like, you know, I, I go by the suggestions of the person that I'm creating for. Um, but yeah, if you just turn around and say, I want uh, something on the lines of, um, like, uh, 80s professional wrestler, I will make an 80s professional wrestler. <laughs> you know, tassels and all sorts of shit, big, big fucking coat for his entrance, you know what I mean? Yeah, Shadow Broker uh, wanted a segment I done recently. It was a um, not a spoiler warning. Uh, it was a like MMA inspired guy gone wrestler. So pretty much what I did for Tiger was Tiger got uploaded, but um, he wanted her to have her own unique attire for SDCW so I just basically made um, what an MMA person looks like when they turn WWE um, with the kick pads and everything like so Wolf now has a secondary attire that's basically inspired by Ken Shamrock so yeah move out going for the pin one count almost immediate kick out And take down. <sighs> oh, fuck. Ah. Uh. Nice suplex. This is another scrappy match. Tons of reversals. Oh, here we go. Squid Boy has tuned up the band. Nails it. Heartbreak Squid now with the pin. Whoa! Squid Boy with a win. Oh, that's point Logue. Um, does does uh, Tug Mukau have resiliency? I need to have time to check when I download the character. GGH, happy birthday, man. In fact, I think H uh, streams. I should probably give him a shout out. If I could spell, it would be much easier. Go show H some love. You can join the, the Heartbreak Squid on his own streams. I believe he's been playing uh, Cyberpunk recently. Oh, he's a fun time. I've dropped him in a few of his uh, streams. He's good people. We like him. Whoever voted for Squid Boy just won a lot of points. Not a problem, man. Not a problem. Don't need to say thank you. That wheel at the bottom right should be spinning. And it's not. Okay. Ah. 
Ah, here we go. You fucker. I love how it changed to, to don't try this at home. To don't try this at home or at school. To don't try this at home or at school or fucking anywhere. Stop trying it! <laughs> I don't have a clue why that just bugged out. It's left me concerned. WWE don't need, don't need my old man. It don't need my help. It breaks itself all the fucking time. Break yourself, fool! Oh, okay. he's getting a second shout out. H Station. Thank you there, Ashley. Quinn versus Phoebe Mercury. Both of these competitors looking really impressive since their debut. Joyous vaginal evacuation anniversary there, H. May it be full of, uh, I don't know, E Fed wins and. And, and good food and, and, and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> mods only, dude. Mods only. In fact, I'm glad that we got on mods only because one time a guy came in here and uh, out of nowhere. He's recently joined FTU as well, by the way. He came in here and, like, Pretty much even before saying hi, he asked if I wanted to collab with his e -fed that he just started. And I was like, uh, I don't know you. Um, don't mention it in the chat. It, drop me a message on Discord. So I let him into the Discord temporarily. And then he uh, basically went to host SDCW characters against the characters that he made personally himself on his stream. And he wanted me to post up on my Discord that that was happening. So he was basically trying to... It like seemed like he was trying to take calls and followers from me without really anything coming back my way. He had no profile picture at the time, no banner. He now does have a banner and a profile picture after I told him to do that. Because like, he's looking very amateur hour. Um... Yeah, uh, and then I, 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 I got rid of him. I said, nah. But yeah, like w during that whole endeavor, whilst he was in the chat, he saw me drop a shout out. Back on point, by the way. He saw me drop a shout out for someone, and then he tried to shout himself out. And I, and yeah. At that point, like, it, it, him coming into the Discord and dropping his little pitch to me was literally just me out of morbid curiosity seeing what he had planned. Like, it, it, like, okay, cool, yeah, collabs are good. You want to do collabs, right? You, you, really important to try collabs out. But um, you got to do it the right way. <laughs> Can't just ask someone, collab me. You have more followers and stuff, and I want them. No, you got to, like, be friendly with people. Twisting Moonsault. Win now with a pin. Yeah, I mean, like you got you got to build a rapport with someone. Uh, like they've got to know that they can trust you with their community and vice versa. You know, you you got to, you can't just like because he won like it happened on Friday and the stream was on a Tuesday. I was like, I don't fucking know you. So yeah, we don't have shout outs. Uh, Available 21 bot modders. Who are you sucking off now? Nice 
nice reversal from Phoebe Mercury there. So I haven't commentated much of this match. Nice sidekick. Arshul to the ropes. Can 2K do it? Can 2K? 2K did a running move. Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh, it's good sex. <laughs> oh, why the fuck did I say that? Oh, Sue's kicks the abdomen. Phoebe Mercury up top, looking for a dive to the outside. Big crossbody. That's a quote I can be proud of. <laughs> I probably peaked the mic so fucking hard then. I probably redlined the shit out of it. <laughs> How have I got 102 quotes? What? How? It's not been that long. I'm getting fucking free quotes from me every fucking stream or some shit. <laughs> the referee at six count. Quinn taking us back to the ring. Oh. Quinn looks like she's getting ready for something. Big clotheslines. Taking the fight to Phoebe Mercury. Quinn's feeling it. Quinn's feeling the same. I'm not sure she knows what she's feeling. I'll be honest. Sportmaster! Hey! Welcome. Welcome to the... To the this fuckery. <laughs> How's it going, man? I'm good. I'm good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You, you, you call me an eccentric moment. <laughs> How'd you find this, by the way? Did you find this fire a Discord or did you find this fire a category list? You have a teddy bear chilling with you. Fair enough, man. Whatever floats your boat. Oh, boats that float. <laughs> Alright, I just want to quickly check saying because can. I feel Mercury with the advantage right now. We are fifth in the list. On the E-Feds. Whoop whoop. CC. Community creation, yeah. You found me on Google. How the fuck did you find me on Google? I'm sure you'd do that. Oh! Karakurana driving the face into the mat there. Uh, I mean, like, the women I've created on community creations, all the women that are here on community creations, not all of them are under the right tag, though. Why? Fresh garden hat. We have a full-on, um, like, developmental process, dude. We have rules. We're, this is the big time. <laughs> oh, is Impact Lacey going? Oh, no worries, man. Thank you for coming. You have a good one, man. It's good to see you again. Um, yeah, so we have, um, we have a whole joining process, dude. You can't just, like, jump in and go, wee. You have to... Like you have to go through developmental, you have to be 85 overalls, uh, no risk culture So I can get that sorted for you. Uh, right now we are uh, a bit tight on space. I just had a character go randomly do a disappearing act, but we can get you sorted, we can get you on. I just have to make, make sure that we have room and basically get the fucking people that got randomly deleted back. You gotta love 2K with his bitches. Sharpshooter gets the win. Phoebe Mercury with an impressive victory there. Which I didn't do a prediction for because I am fucking special. G. 
GG. Mate, you, you're more than welcome to join, man. You're more than welcome to join. Um, we'll get you figured out. Just get yourself on Discord and we'll sort it out. Go from Here's there. I need someone to kick me in the dick for not doing um, predictions. Like that does not look like a championship match now, does it? No. No, because 2K... It's 2K, 2K. It's 2K, 2K. Oh. And that next one doesn't look like a championship match either. What's going on? It's too hard to restart the game. This game uh, crashed and the game just likes to remove championship matches for no good reason. No good reason. 2K fucking yeah but like I say I'm missing one of my top guys Declan Mannix got deleted it's one thing when uh, the quartermaster got deleted that was fucking bad enough but then Declan Mannix goes you kidding me so I've got to get them back I've got to delete i still got to delete um well we'll have to delete uh Kelsey Mitch now and uh someone else tonight so I'm going to get those two back, but fucking hell. Right. Let's get predictions going. Predictions going, going, going. Tiger, two-time Elevate Champion. And is for the Women's Professional Wrestling against two-time Elevate Women's Champion Mason Suzuki. So I've got two two-time champions in this match. This is a pay-per-view level match. No, it's not a ploy. It's just like when I say Dick Max disappeared, I mean I was going to delete um, his World Cup um, core. Because he got eliminated. Um, only to find that the World Cup call was the only one there. There should have been two Declan Mannixes. And the primary one is the one that's disappeared. So I'm pissed. It happens to Court Master as well. Basically, got too many characters in the uh, game just like randomly removing people for no reason. No warning, no nothing. It's gone. Which is why I beg of you guys. To upload your calls under SDCW because if you disappear, like I can get Declan Banks back, that's easy. I can copy his uh, World Cup core over. I'm gonna just rename the World Cup core. There you go, done. Um, yeah, but if uh, if if someone goes, if someone disappears, and I like, I, I'm I'm gonna have to fucking mystery and be like, dude, what's his, what's his hags? Help me out. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm not gonna be able to get you back without like that info again. Anyway. Uh, oh man, no worries, Shadow Broker. Um, it's a shame that you couldn't see the match, I guess. Um, that sucks. I know how that feels. Hope work ain't too bad, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe. In the meantime, I'll just uh, rename Declan Mannix WC to just Declan Mannix. So. It does suck big time though when it happens. Because like, you know, Declan Mannix former tag team champion. That's now not on his fucking stat sheet. In game, you know. Here comes the Women's Elevate champion, Masonya Suzuki. Where the fuck is Bewley? There is Bewley.
Bully! Everyone summon Bully. With the power of the ball. Alright, it's Beamy. Thanks for giving us some work. Thanks for stopping by. I don't scream. I don't know how to scream. Like my version of a scream is. <laughs> Here we go. Two, two time. Elevate women's champions going up head to head. Introducing the challenger from Kill Devil Hill, North Carolina, Tiger. And her opponent from Kyoto, Japan. She is the women's professional wrestling champion, Black Rose Mason Suzuki. Sometimes I wish we could have a uh, Bailey on the roster just so we could do the Bailey chant. Hey, hey, Bailey. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Yo, I'd love to see Christopher Walken commentating a wrestling match. I'm not going to do it. I ain't going to be able to improvise an uh, impression like that. <laughs> no. We go underway in this championship match. Mason Suzuki, inaugural elevate women's champion against Tiger. I believe Tiger was the one that took the belt off Mason in the first place. Oh. Working on the heel. And now my eyes are walking because I've too much. God damn it. Four. Four. Well, slow starts this match, Marcus. There's a lot of things I'd do. Not all of them I can really say on uh, Twitch. But I mean, um, not necessarily not Homelander, but I'll tell you one thing that, like, there's a lot of shit in this one that needs to sort out. You sort out pretty quick. Sonya Suzuki working on the legs of Tiger, trying to take out those, that speed and striking power. See, some people would see me as bad, like the worst thing ever. Some people would be like, fucking finally. <laughs> Very stiff German suplex. Nice Pele kick. I'll put it this way, I, I, I couldn't give a fuck about gearheads and stuff, like, we do have a bit of climate change going on, we do need to sort that shit out and get renewables on the go, so, um, I would facilitate the fuck out of that. There's some pointless fucking conflicts in the world right now that, uh, could do with, uh, shutting the fuck down, for one. Do you know what I mean? Uh, 
And those are just the macro problems. There's micro problems on Sua as well. It's time to ask a question like that, though, during a championship match, you fucker. <laughs> At least you didn't ask me if you could ask a question, so I'll give you that one. <laughs> Still working on the legs. It appear. Oh, Tope con fucking Spinneruni. Um, whatever that was, takes out Tiger on the outside. Goes for a cyclone kick, but doesn't get it. It would appear that uh, Masonya Suzuki is not underestimating Tiger this time. Really trying to wear down those legs. Really going methodical with the way she's fighting this match. But, I mean, it all depends on what you see as bad. But, but you know, what, what, what is a bad superhero? Like, you know, the Suicide Squad is, is technically villains, but they do good shit, so, you know what I mean? Oh, so I'll be, I'll be 50-50. Huge strike. So it's, oh, nice leg sweep. The back and forth between these two is definitely in full effect. There's that huge elbow strike. Apparently, Tiger's not done. Superman punch as well. And Suzuki kicks out. Tiger wins this. She gets promoted. So the main roster. This is a big match. Bully! How's it going, man? Welcome to the World Cup team, my friend. You are now representing this SDCW in the, in the Wrestling World Cup. Fireworks. Big springboard drop kick. Oh! What a neutralizer. A rolling Thunder X Factor. Going for the pin. It's a two count. Nearly puts Tiger away. And he gets that first defense. I think it'll be a first anyway. Shit, I didn't even check that. Yeah, it would. Tiger and uh, Masoni Suzuki have had quite the little rivalry going on in uh, Elevate. The fact that Tiger is now fighting for her promotion against Masoni Suzuki is quite striking in a way. Definitely storyline potential. Uh, oh, well, it looks like she was going for that Rolling Thunder X Factor, but don't, doesn't get it. Um, well, like that's up to the e Fed owner. Um, but yeah, that's that's the sort of idea. But it's up to the e Fed owner if they allow it. But like with them all being on here, doing the tournament, they, they basically said yes.
Am I a distinctive uh, dojo guy or what? <laughs> I never trained, never been a part of it, but yo. <laughs> oh, Masonya Suzuka with the rope break. Grabs that bottom rope really quickly, almost instantly. Tiger with the elbow strikes. Try and do some real damage. Ah. Well, there's that Rolling Thunder X Factor again, center of the ring. I'll, I'll just be an honorary member. Just like, hey, I'm I'm a friend. Well, what a win from a Sonya Suzuki. She has a defense on the board. Black Rose Mason Suzuki only needs two more of those consecutively and then she is up. Tiger could have got promoted. But she didn't quite get it. There goes my points. What? Oof! Ouch. After you, after you'd, uh, fucking hell, after you'd, uh, redeemed the, um, yeah, that one. Shit, dude, that sucks. Spinny wheel is indeed spinning. I'm getting paranoid about it now. All right, here we go. The Doctor of the Morgue against the Gam of Bit. Predictions are up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for one fall. The professional wrestling. Ah, I don't want to full screen it, you fuck. I swear that's the command. One fall! Hey! <laughs> I hate that that censored that. Why did that get censored? I want to know what Beaulieu was saying. But yeah, Beaulieu, you're on the World Cup team, man. You are going up against... It's uh, my thing. You will be going up against BMP. And yeah, you know, like you're replacing Marcus Rivera. So you're going kind of against BMP. Ah... Uh, so you will be going, your match will be after El Osa and Hutchie's match. Uh, that's probably having a pay-per-view. So it'll be the uh, stream after the pay-per-view. You will get your first World Cup match. Hopefully you win and get through and get some points on the board for SDCW. We've got Sim versus Paralyzer. El Osa versus Hutchie. Uh... Julie Johnson versus BMP and the villain McGill versus Arlick. I don't I do. I do respect that. I respect Shia. Uh, no, I don't think that is him. I think that he might have actually put a full stop somewhere. Uh, and it would have said all oh, link and um, blocked it. I've got some heavy anti-link blocky stuff going on. More so than most uh, channels because I was sick of those fucking bots. That's why you never see him here. I've had one bot get through the filter in the past like two, three months. One. Okay. 
Gambia Ele Men's Elevate Champion currently. Well, he'd be one of the, who, who did he win it off of? Was it Max Carr? Oh no, it was in a Fatal 4 way. It was one of those Fatal 4 way ones, weren't it? But yeah, I think it was Max Carr that lost it on that one. Elevate Champion of the World. just funny that like, I have fat, like Elevate is such a good name for a developmental brand but at the same time like my brain goes it's the only one that's not beginning with an R <laughs> Retribution Rebellion but that makes sense because like develop, developmental lower top brands being R or whatever yeah but as I said at the time, it might be it's a good thing because now you only gotta win it one more time. One more and you're up. I'm sure Tigany did earlier but didn't didn't quite make it. It was on Gambit's debut night as well, wasn't it? I remember. I just have to remind myself sometimes. Morg has yet to win the Elevate title a single time yet. So if he wins this, it'll be huge for him. He's had the best start in uh, SDCW. He has had a slight turnaround fortunes recently. He has clocked a couple of wins now. Can he do it tonight? If he does win this, it'll be a bit of an upset. Even though Gambit is new here, Gambit has had some solid performances. I don't think he's lost a match yet. Oh, sweeps the legs out, driving Gambit's face into the canvas on the fall. Do I need to clean these again? For fuck's sake. I swear my eyelashes too long. I've got like, like these really long luscious eyelashes. They keep fucking smearing the glasses. Huge back suplex. It's the last match on Elevate, then we go on to Rebellion. We'll have another match in the World Cup. Paralyzer versus Slim tonight. Is Slim still about? Do we know? Or did he go after he lost? That is the question. Boobity boobity. Seven count. Championship advantage is in effect. It's an eight count. The referee giving him time to get out, but we're at nine. If he doesn't get in the ring soon, it's over. Well, more gets in. I don't think Gambit's realised. Oh, big clothesline. I was too busy like looking things up and stuff. I didn't even realise that that was such a close count out. Until the last second. Pedigree! Dr. Morgan trouble. Oh, kicks out too. Nice roll up. Morg's 
still putting up a fight. Another face buster. Gambit. That Uranagi. Nice. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, B Moo. Oh, more going over the top rope, I think. <laughs> Sorry, looking at the chat. Takes that gambit on the outside. I didn't realise they'd gone to the outside, I'll be honest. Close count out this time. Back into the ring at four. Shoot to the ropes. 2K, you never cease to disappoint me with your running moves. Oh! Gambit busted open from that DDT textbook execution. Takedown. Oh, backstabber. I have to refill my drink in a bit. Damn it. Oh, Brett Storm Beam you taking over the chat. <laughs> oh, over the top rope. Gambit now. Takes out Morgan this time. Ah. Oh, yeah, well too comfortable in this couch. In this couch, on this couch, whatever. Oh, another DDT. Morg goes over the top rope, takes that gambit yet yeah, again. Oh, another backstabber. Apparently, you do not have a best season sink. Put that down as a mod oversight. <laughs> Morg up top. Goes to the elbow drop. Going up again. Going to the world second time. Big splash. Doesn't get it. Gambit saw it coming. A little bit too telegraphed. Rolls out of the way. Morg eats the canvas. He's getting his face washed. Oh! Huge strike. Gambit thinks he's ready. Thinks it's time to end this. Uranagi! Gambit with a pin. Morg somehow kicks out again. Gambit going for the Gambit elbow. Doesn't get it. Morg gets out of the way. Can 2K do running moves? It can. It did a running move. Turning Morg inside out on a clothesline. Morg's still fighting back though.
Oh, he's got the leg. Gambit's foot on the bottom rope. Goes for that calf crusher, doesn't quite get it. Yeah, he's managed to do like two. He's done two. He's going for Unga Bunga. Morg! Morg with the win! Dr. Morg is our new Elevate men's champion. Who would have seen that coming? Safe to say that Morgan's definitely turned the corner. Now finally showing his potential. Congratulations, Morg. I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't think for a second you was going to win that. <laughs> Did not think for a second. Dragons, healthy. Jason's healthy, happy days. Tiger's healthy. Kosovic is healthy. Rasta's healthy. This is all from those fatal four ways. All of that. Okay. Bookie time. Bookie, 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 bookie. Okay. Edit matches. I mean, that'd be a good match, but it's not happening. Sorry. Uh, Violet Ray. This is Noel. Again, that would be interesting. Put against Vincent Green, though, but Slim was here earlier. What do you reckon, guys? Vincent Green or Slim? We'll put Slim in a match. Put Slim in the oh, wait, no, because he's got a match later. No, don't worry. He's got a World Cup match. That ain't happening. Fuck me. Ugh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Huh. It's a strange feeling. Find someone else. Unfortunately, it's overshadowed by all this unyielding rage. Anyway, maybe I Archie versus McGill. So I've gone quiet, just trying to get this done quickly. Kay Lee. That's Sashi Mannix who recently went through in the World Cup. Grab his dick and twist it! Oh my god, oh my god. this is an MMA oh, fight, dude! Too much. Twist that dick! Twist his dick! Twist his dick! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, dick 
quit! Paralyze up. Slim! Okay, we're all booked up. And I'm going to do a quick rip. Be right back. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, it's got to be done, though. <laughs> Grab his dick and twist it. Twist the dick. Twist that dick. Fuck it, I'm playing this song. Just can. Deal with it. Uh, <laughs> Alan Wake. This song stuck in my head because of the um, Game Awards. Alan Wake the Musical!
Oh. Hey, I'm back. Yep, I'm back. Cool. Uh, how's it going, guys? Boop, boop. Alright. Starting off Violet Ray versus Noel. Hope Barbear's still there. <laughs> Fuck it all. Uh, long day then, Mimi. Long, de long day by the spirit. Very sleepy and stuff. Fuck you, Slim, Slim Chance, all around. Why am I fighting someone named the Paralyzer? I'm gonna be paralyzed. <laughs> My paralyzer is just a nickname. His name's Costas. Costas, I think. And Bewley's not doing well in the overall, unfortunately, there. But somehow, he's still holding on to that belt. He's still there, beauty. He's still on onto that belt. He's still solid in the championship defences. He just just keeps losing the weeklies. So I'm just throwing him, throwing everyone against him to see um, what happens at this point. He's an 85 in the World Cup, though. And one stone off her base 85. We go Noel against Violet Ray. I think last time these two saw each other was uh, just after the Ascend pay per view. Violet Ray did get a shock win against Noel, but Noel won the title back on the rematch, so Noel still our champion. I wouldn't get champion. Oh, my baby is here, sweet. Here. But yeah, so that also applies to Sim as well. Um, hey, still here. Uh, that also applies to Sim. He's starting off at an 85. He's at like 81 or something in universe, but he's 85 in the World Cup. Because everyone gets staff and even food. Oh, big moon soul! Noel was saying dominance. Big moon soul on a suicide dive to follow. Nice sequence. Made Violet Ray once. I don't think she'd do it again. Big elbow drop off the top rope. Too early to put Violet Ray away. Fisherman bomb. I didn't do predictions, did I? Nope. We'll do predictions next match. Sorry about that, guys. Another successful suicide dive. The vicious strikes. From Violet Ray. Oh, nice reversal. Flips back out of that back suplex. Now we're replying back with some strikes of our own. Irish whip to the ropes. Can 2K do it? It can't. 
SMK can't do running moves. Final race feeling it. Going for a pin. Only gets a one count. Uh oh. Pedigree. Close to the ropes though. Rope break. Doesn't get the pin after the pedigree. It's taking too long to drag Noel. Oh, Noel with a roll up. I thought I was going to end it then. That would have been a, that would have been a cool ending. Goes for a super kick, doesn't get it. Oh, Karana. Sister Abigail, number one. Nearly puts away Violet Ray with that. Noel can't believe it. Fisherman bomb. to the ropes. Can Suke do it? It cannot. Noel dodges out of the way. Fire clothesline in the corner. Doesn't get that foot choke. Oh, the novice is Strabagal. That was a good ending. That was a good ending to that match. I like that. GG. Congratulations, Noel, on another win. That was a good ending. Solid win. And Vincent Green, the Ascend briefcase holder against Beauty Johnson, Switch champion. are up. Noel still dominating the internet division. Oh yeah, you got your feet now. Music was louder, I'll probably bury out a bit more and red line the fucking mic. Oh! Misses that huge springboard moonsault. 
Lee Johnson's had a poor run of luck of late, but still holding on to that title. Huge setup, powerbomb. Win here would be important. Catch a suplex. Violet Ray did well. Oh, huge sunset flip power bomb to the outside. Yeah, Violet Ray did well. Uh, Noel still dominating. I didn't expect uh, Violet Ray to get a win there. It would have been a surprise victory again. Spinning back, he'll kick to the face. Got my knee. No one does it because me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter what I overall with uh, Violet always puts on a good show. And that's what you want. If you got a core that can put on a good show, regardless of the match, you're fucking winning. 2K can't do running moves. 2K definitely can't do running moves. Vincent Green with the advantage at the moment. Good reversal on that power bomb lift. I have to say, um, Vincent Green at the moment is the last remaining member of the Immortals Club. So the Immortals Club have not been active, so they have been removed. They are no longer a team. Vincent Green's still in because he's got the uh, Ascend briefcase, but big work hasn't been active, so I'm not sure what we can do with that. No, they were active. They were active when, like, before, just before the uh, Ascend pay-per-view, and they haven't been since, so... Well, wearing down his opponent. Classic wrestling moves. Well, the rest of them, Quite effective. Don't have the impact of a spine buster like that, but they do work the op opponent, bring their engine levels down. And that talk on the neck from those rolls, but well, there's a topic on Hilo to the outside. Vincent Green taken out, Switch TV champion Beauty Johnson there. Did you just get busted open? Yeah, he did. I like the little delay I've got on the stream manager. If I miss it, I can check it. <laughs> Beauty Johnson fighting back. Oh, I didn't even know you he was here, Dolly. Oh, shit. Have a good one. I'll, I'll, sit, I'll drop you a shout out. Thanks for, thanks for coming, though. I didn't know you he was here. God. I must have missed your uh, hello or whatever. Oh, thanks for coming. Appreciate the lurk or I'm the watch. Just to see me at Arisborn. Dolly Belladonna loves her retro oh. games. Is that a space area? That that is space area. Oh my god, that is some classic gaming there. Fun fact, you can actually, yeah, I was about to say, you can actually play that on Yakuza, can't you? Alright. Oh, huge Seguri. Vincent Green going for a pin. Lee Johnson kicks out. Another Inseguri. Johnson's not having... I have a great amount of luck in this match. Showing some clear resiliency, but we go Shining Wizard.
Johnson still kicks out. Huge spine buster. What a way to respond. Billy Johnson will now be representing SDCW in the World Cup. And it's BMP in his match, the round 16. There's the guillotine choke. Since she's too close to the ropes, though. Not calling the rope break. What? That might be a mistake on the ref's part. I'm not sure Bew Johnson would complain, though. That's what ref is like getting in the way of the cameras. Sending Vincent Green to the outside now. Big clothesline. Huge suplex off a deadlift. Big power bomb. A knee strike. Booty Johnson having a surge of momentum here. Potentially making a comeback in this match. If he can keep it up. Pump handle. I can't remember what that's called. I can never remember what that move's called. Oh, teardrop suplex. Referee at a six count. Going for multiple suplexes. That's the third referee at seven. Not going back into the ring yet, just yet. Refs at an eight count. We could have a count out victory. Bewley Johnson with a count out win. I'm not sure you'll uh, complain about that. It was a much needed win. By any means necessary, he gets it done. That teardrop suplex combo was too much for Vincent Green to recover from. Congratulations, Bewley. Gets a win ahead of his World Cup match. will be defending his title and Noel at caged in an elimination chamber matches we could have titles changing hands right heavyweight champion McGill against Big Hutchie he's still always put on a good show both of them representing SDCW in the World Cup. Got team members going ahead against each other. Predictions are up. Oh. Give a fight out of that shoulder carry. Doesn't make the springboard. What the fuck? Well, Big Hutchie showing McGill exactly what he thought of that spring ball manoeuvre. Gets a two count, he gets an early win. Oh, well, McGill caught Hutchie. He's got the ankle lock locked in in the centre of the ring. Hutchie has to fight out. Hutchie uh, shown his ring rope manoeuvres there, but gets caught with a springboard cutter. Gill slips that, gets a DDT. Big reversal from Hutchie there. 
Harsh whip. Oh, takes out the legs. Hutchie going to work. Forearm. To the face of heavyweight champion. Recently got a win against Slim. And Retribution. Big Uranagi. Goes for another pin. Barely gets a one count. Gonna beat some colour into you. <laughs> well, technically that would work. Oh, oh. Well, McGill going for another springboard manoeuvre. Gets caught. Back and forth between these two. McGill going for the sharpshooter. Too close to the ropes, I think. Referee not even looking, but still breaks up the hold somehow. It's great animation by 2K there. Appreciate the realism. Well, somehow McGill puts Big Hutchie into the tree of woe. Choking the big man. I feel like that choke animation should last a bit longer. Oh. McGill setting up. Doesn't doesn't hold the bridge because he knows it's too close to the ropes. Big Hutchie is a very large man. Big long legs. He's had it before where those legs have hit the uh, bottom rope after the Dragon Suplex. Gets two count. He puts the big man away. Springboard cutter. Doesn't give Hutchie a chance to take the advantage. snap we go up on the middle rope huge knee drop goes to the pin actually kicking out too big next step using that momentum working on the legs it's got to be one of their least vicious matches that they've had saying that go for the big knee gets it straight into the pin but she still kicks out Hutchie now. Huge power bomb. You rock from that goes to the outside. Hutchie with a crossbody off over the top rope. Gil saw that coming. Flow over neck breaker. So that's everyone's weekend bin. We had a good one. Stiff shot. Actually stalking his opponent. There's that clothesline. I think the guild just got busted open. Tradition preserved. That's fair. Oh, McGill went for that sharpshooter. Go, gets caught. Hutchie setting up. McGill in trouble. He's got it. He's got it locked in. Nightmare. McGill kicks out of two. Well, Hachi with the grand slam, but got caught. You're not letting him get out of the ring. Going for the sharpshooter again. I think this time he's going to get locked in. Hachi too far from Bruce. Hachi taps. 
I didn't think I was going to end it. Well then. Honestly, whether it's Hutchie and uh, McGill, same with McGill and Sim, I never know who's going to win. Uh, like, I don't, uh, those, I don't give a fuck about the attributes. You know, I, I never know who's going to win. Who's going to win out of those? Oh, GG. Now we've got uh, the Blood Hunters vs. Distinction. Last minute change the card for this one. Yo, Brett, where's Curtis? Get him. Get him in. Well, no time wasted starting this match. Bloodhunters, number one contenders for the tag team titles. The their opponents from WrestleFest will be decided at the caged pay-per-view after a tag team tournament of which the distinction may very well be a part of. Well, Thomas Payne got out of that back suplex but got caught by a Curtis on his way down back to his feet and dumped on the mat. 2K can do running moves apparently. Oh, Odin caught out. Thomas Payne. And so clubbing blows to the chest. Okay, stunt taken out of a suicide dive. Okay, Stunt and Brett Storm, actually brothers. Not seeing eye to eye nowadays. Throw it over. Most of the pin. I should make Curtis Stunt and Brett Storm enemies in the uh, in the universe mode, I think. What do you reckon, Brett? <laughs> Toss paint slipping out of that attempt at a deadlift. Huge strikes from Kate Stunt. Take that, Brett Storm. Pain's dive didn't connect. Working on the legs of Odin, try and get rid of that speed that he's got. Bloodhunter's doing a good job at separating the two members of Distinction. In 2v1 scenarios. Oh, huge! Huge suplex there. Half and half suplex, wasn't it? This is just turned to a flat out brawl. Poison runner on the outside. Rocking Curtis Stun. Meteora to Brett Storm. Off the top rope, all the way down to the floor. That's a powerbomb from Brett Storm. 
Oh. That's cool by Odin. Stiff knees. Okay, stun. Uh, oh, there's a clothesline from Odin. Okay, stun was struggling with uh, Dean Thomas Payne on the outside. Gets a two. Gets two count against Brett Storm. Doesn't get a three. It's Captain's hook. Sure, that's a right break. Okay, stump breaking that hold. Another poison runner. Okay, stunt clearing house, it seems. Swinging neck breaker. Brother versus brother in the middle of the ring. How funny would that be though? Like, you know, you end up against uh Curtis. Oh spear! Brett's not done. And for that rolling knee bar. Storm knee bar. Uh, how funny it would be if uh, Brett Storm ends up against Curtis Stunt in like WrestleMania for FTU and WrestleFest for SDCW as well. Oh, Stunt getting out of that hold. Uh, the distinction. Uh, that, that's my faction. If it's black and gold, it's it's usually a do with me at the moment. Brett Storm up top. Huge tag out. Shining Wizard, I think that busted Odin open. Brett going for the pin. Odin kicks out. It was a late kick out though. Huge Uranagi. Okay, stunt single minded. Go straight for his brother. Big boot. Seabold on the outside. This won't win the match. So it's praying breaking it up anyway. Okay, Stump once again dealing with the Blood Hunters on his own. What are you doing, Curtis? What was that? What was that, Curtis? Don't underestimate those knee drops, they'll get you. Odin? Well, Odin going for the gets broken up by Brett Storm, but he's going for the burning hammer on the outside, trying to eliminate Thomas Payne from the equation. Okay, stunned, just watching on. Okay, stunned AI broken or something. What's going on? Odin takes out both members of the uh, Blood Hunters anyway. Breaker. Odin go teardrop suplexes on Brett Storm. That's the old new word back crutch. <laughs> Brett Storm busted open by his brother. Big reversal from Odin there. Avoided that stunner. Oh, low blow to Curtis Stunt. The rolling, the, the storm knee bar. I keep going for the rolling knee bar. Yeah. What's playing over the pin? Curtis Stunt to break it up though.
I can go for the pin. Oh, Brett Storm taking any advantage he can get. Low blow. It's two low blows we've seen this match. Stormy has sent Moonsault. Odin kicks out too. There's code breaker. Brett Storm's already busted open. Odin not able to get the pin straight away. Thank you for the luck there, Marbear. Hope you feel better. Okay, stunt with a pin instead. Referee slow to start counting as well. Just, just too much time to recover. Brett Storm kicks out. Oh, Odin now. With the burning hammer, Scottish Sickle from Curtis Stunt. Both members of the Blood Hunters pinned. Brett Storm kicks out too. Thomas Bain kicks out too. Distinction can't believe it. Both members of the Blood Hunters rolling out of the ring. What the hell? Yeah, get better soon, Marbear. The suicide dive takes out Thomas Payne. Odin usually works with uh, McGill, but today working with Curtis Stunt. Pump and X Factor. Taking out Odin. Nice combination there from Stunt. Double neck breaker. You're drunk. <laughs> oh, big teardrop suplex. Distinction singling out Thomas Payne there for some, some much needed damage, I guess. Yeah. Half half suplex. Big snap on that one from Curtis Stunt. Scottish Sickle, centre of the ring, goes for the pin. Well, Curtis Stunt gets the pin on Thomas Payne and wins for the distinction. I think that's the first time that Odin and Curtis Stunt have actually teamed together in SDCW. Proved effective. Congratulations, Odin and Curtis Stun. Hell of a win. That had some moments. That had some moments, didn't it? And I didn't do predictions for it because I'm a. Ash Humanix versus Kaylee. Let's go. I swear sometimes it's certain matches and I'm just, I'm just completely slips in my mind to do predictions. Who said hello there? Oh, Death No Pain, let's go man. Book a match for you. I can't man. I actually can't. Um, Cause 
There's only two matches left. One's this, and then we've got a World Cup match, and then it's over. Um, if you hit, if you was here for Elevate, you did have a match booked, but you got replaced last minute. Um, because people were here. Um, yeah, no, we'll get you in next. We'll get you in next stream. Um, I believe that'll be Tuesday. I believe I'm gonna double check the uh, schedule. I do have uh, the schedule. I just need to post it up. Do a run in on Ashley. What do you mean? How? What? Hachi, explain. No worries, man. I always appreciate you being here and we'll get you sorted. I'll give you a refund for those points. Uh, I'll, I'll get that started now. Yeah. But Bucky seems to be a. Uh, and a curious to be fair. Seems to be some bad asses, so. I always appreciate having them. There you go, you got your refund, or you should have got your refund anyway. Predictions are up, guys. We'll have to get uh, Baki and Akira changing for the Elevate title soon. I'm running on her match. How? I don't know how. Uh... Not specifically. I think there should be, but not specifically. So you can you can do it via rival reactions, kind of. But I mean, like picking who. I don't think you pick who does like a run in, and sometimes it's not even an option. Um, I think they need to change the rivalry system, um, or just add like a new a new system sort of thing where you can pick cutscenes because they're not like I think like one it shouldn't be you just book one show I think you should be able to book a whole week right yeah I think you should be able to book a whole week so I could sit there book Retribution Elevate Rebellion and the pay-per-view even all in one go so they're all booked up because that's, that, that's all the stuff for that week and then after that I think you should be able to add moments so, like, add a sort of match interruption or a run-in or someone stand there at the uh, stage giving it a fuck you and then distracting someone in the ring. All that kind of stuff. I think you should just be able to choose and choose who does it. You know, just say it happens mid-match. You know, it happens at the end or it happens at start. Or, you know, three options like that. And that way you can have storylines that, like, play out during... The universe mode during the stream. So like, you know, you could have it where um like McGill could be having a match with Hutchie and then Brett Storm's music plays or something distracts him. Coup de Gras Ashley Mannix in trouble, kicks out of two. Um yeah. Cause I think that'd be much better. Because now I could talk to people that are in rivalries uh, for championships. We are, do you, what, do you, what do you guys want to happen this week? You know, do you want... Uh, like, obviously... It, or, or, like, channel point it. You know, channel point it. Something, you know? You'd have to, have to figure out a way for it to be fair. Can't just have, like, one person going, I'm going to assault them, I'm going to injure them, I'm going to injure them every week. Because that would just be stupid. But, yeah, like, do a channel point thing. And, like, you know, then people could... Like channel point for the next week. Next week I want to do a running. Next week I want to interrupt. Next week I want to be the one that takes a ladder to the face. You know, something like that. Anyway. I have ideas for this game and I don't think any of them are going to get implemented. For one, I doubt they're going to fix running moves. <laughs> I should be text uh, Fallen. Real quick. Kaylee combination of strikes to the women's champion as she makes one of our longest reigning champions or possibly the longest reigning champion at this point I have to check in SDCW's history Maybe that's some short history, but got to start somewhere. Kaylee with a curb stomp. Uh -oh. 
We've got a World Cup match after this one, guys. Paralyzer versus Slim. Max trying to wear down the legs. Stop that speed speed advantage that Katie seems to have. Big air raid crash neck breaker. But yeah, it would be fucking awesome if you could arrange things like that. That would just send this to the next level. I'm not just talking about like if the, anyone's universe mode, everyone's universe mode. It, it'd be so much better. So much. Yeah, I think it'd be a tons more more engaging. Like, just to have the option. Like, because you got the rivalry system where it happens randomly. Whatever well, that inverted Phoenix splash. Katie kicks out too. Uh, because like you already got the random system. The random system's cool and all, with the rivalry system that's in the game. But like, if you want to like, you should just be able to choose them yourself like book it yourself because I mean you know if you want to be like is she even going to make that insane elbow gets it centre of the ring the range goes up top again the opposite corner there's another phoenix splash this has got to be over my team is trying to go stand by Ashley Mannix with a hell of a win what a finish Kaylee definitely took the fight to the women's champion, but what a way to end. One of the biggest elbow drops we've ever seen. Followed by that Phoenix splash. Queen wins again. Right. Slim better be there, man. Slim better be about. Boom. Predictions are up, guys. Do you reckon Slim gets one for SCCW? We need a point. I think a point would go a long way. Here comes Paralyzer. He is some uh, stiff competition. He's, um, I've seen his matches. I don't think it's going to be easy for Slim. McCann, our two time heavyweight champion of SDCW, the only two time heavyweight champion of SDCW. Get a win, get another point on the board for SDCW, and get himself into the quarterfinals. AWF would love to get another point on the board for the team and get that equaliser with FTU. If they don't, then FTU pulls ahead this week.
go. First men's match of the AWF SDCW bracket. Big back elbow. Or crossbody. It's crossbody, I think, in the game. Huge backbreaker. Well, the paralyzer's power is being put on show already. I elevate triangle choke, but too close to the ropes. Huge suplex. Paralyze me, daddy. <laughs> Wow! Oh, I'll have got text. Uh, Fallen's on her way back home from work. Sim getting caught there. Sim's got to find a way to get back into this fight. I'm sure Brett will be happy to see the uh, Stormbreaker being used by ADWF guys. Oh, goes to the big elbow drop off the top rope. Slim rolls out the way. This could be the moment that Slim starts pulling it back. Big suplex. Doesn't manage to keep the advantage. Huge body slam. Might not be pre, but it's effective. Oh, code breaker. Both competitors laid out on the floor. Paralyzer trying to. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a pin, but I think he just saw that uh, Sim was too close to the ropes. Goes to the pin now, though. Well, that was close. Sim's got a long way to go if he wants to pull a comeback out of this one. Oh, my God, ref. Huge clothesline. The one hook, big suplex, beautiful butterfly suplex there. Sims paralyzed the outside. This might actually work to Sims' advantage or or not. What's the ref doing, man? Just get out of the way. Oh, huge release, butterfly suplex. The paralyzer is just relentless. Topan Cornelio doesn't get it. Sim working on the legs, trying to get rid of some of that speed that Paralyzer seems to have. What are we doing, guys? Sim making his way back into the ring, finally. Oh. Choke slam. Double-handed. Oh, little Slimmy, this could be it. From out of nowhere. Sim gets a two count on Paralyzer. Oh, there's the crowning as well. 
Goes to the pin, centre of the ring. Paralyzed kicks out again. I need to spot on my head and it will not go away. Oh, Moonsoul. Two-time SDCW heavyweight champion. Pretty sure that Paralyzer and AWF has been tag team champion on numerous occasions. Oh, Paralyzer setting up. Sim could be in trouble. Rolling car. Paralyzer wins. Sim is out. In the first round, AWF equalizes with AFTU. SDCW still struggling to get a point, get points on the board. Saskia being the only SDCW roster member to make it to the quarterfinals so far. Still got three matches to go until the quarterfinals begin. It's now down to Big Hutchie, Bewley Johnson, and the villain McGill to get through to the quarterfinals. Can SDCW get a man in the quarterfinal? AWF has. And now that commentary is over, fuck! <laughs> Oh well. GG's, well done Paralyzer. If you watch the VOD later, I don't think you're here, so. Match gauge has been cleared by med staff. Whoop! Why are we getting that on Oh, it's tag teams? Big Pop cleared. Big Hunchy cleared. Oh, that was week two, so yeah. Cool. Nothing new. Alright. You know what? Uh, oh no! I'll, I'll wait because I got I got to wait to um, yeah to get the de deletions lined up. Let's check out the uh, power rankings and stuff. Um, what's the best way to do this again. I will uh, we'll do the overalls in a minute. Power rankings first. Because uh, it's gotten to the pay per view. Max Carter at top. We'll do top 10 for uh, Elevate. Then Gambit. Masonya Suzuki at number 3. David Pope in the top 5. And so is Quinn. Squidboy just missing out on top 5. Dr. Morton, new Elevate champion. Level 0, 8. Retro Nick Team 9. JSM at 10. Tigers dropped down now to the top 10. That is a very Male dominated top 10, can't be said. Got a lot of new faces that haven't been able to establish themselves yet. Uh, Retribution. Ashley Howard, number one. Followed by McGill. Why is Ashley Howard number one? Cherry Blast, Odin, Ashley Mannix, Brett Storm, Marcus Rivera, Little Cloud, Shine McKay at number nine. Foss Pain 10. Pro is has dropped down to 11. Jess Storm, Zoe, Big Hutchie at 14. Kaylee, Donny Prince, Slim, Wolf, 9000. Big Popper. Sims all the way down to 17. Shit. Obviously, uh, there is a lot of crossover because of the people that are on both brands. So the top fives are mostly the same. Odin. Odin 
Uh, number four, Rebellion after that uh, tag team win. Actually makes a five. McGill with two still. Actually out number one. Again, Brett Storm, Marcus, Case, Dunn, Shine McKay. Tag teams. Cross face. Looks like tag teams dominate top ten. Throw's not a part of the tag team. is not a part of that roster. What the fuck? Alright, Noel, Beauty Johnson, Pikachu, Kaylee, Darnay Prince, Slim, Moogle, Wolf. Yeah, the power rankings don't really work so well over here because of the uh, crossover. So I love the same. So I might just do it by uh, overalls. I'll do a quick skim. Highlight the ones that are up. Actually, I'll 88. Ashley makes 88. Hutchie does 82. Big Popper at 82. Crystal Betty up at an 87. 77 for Beauty Johnson. At Cherry Blast at an 89. Shine McKay at 79. Okay, stun 87. 87 Dave Pope. Dr. Morg, new elevate champion, sitting at an 83. Hello, sir. Hey, not doing too well. Gambit at an 87. I'm Vance on 82. Jess Storm 87. JSM 87. Sonya Suzuki 87. Max Carr with a 90. He's up there with McGill. A uh, 90. Damn. Elevate guy kicking ass and taking names right there. Google down to 83. Nine tails on 80. Odin a 92. And he lost today. And he got a win, but still. 83 for Patrick Cage, 80 for Persephone Blackvale, 92 for Pro, it, despite dropping in the power rankings. After that loss, Raster X an 82. Slender an 80. Slim 81. Stitch is 82. Thomas Payne 87. Tia KO and Tiger on an 82. Pilot Ray on 77, still the lowest rated character on the roster. Zoe though is back up to an 85 after a huge loss streak. She won that Women's Royal Rumble out of nowhere. And she's 85. She's back on the board. She's fucking rocking. Um, Hachi on 82. But World Cup in 85, so. Yeah. Oh, man. I didn't do recaps either, shit. No worries, I'm going to be heading off now as well. Um, I'll be sorting out the deletions and stuff uh, tomorrow and get everything updated properly for the next stream. The next stream is the pay-per-view. Uh, I'm going to be running some polls and we're going to see what day is best to actually have the pay-per-view and I will delay until then. I'll still be doing streams. I'll be doing like Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, up until the pay-per-view basically. But yeah, love you guys. You've been great. Uh, seriously though, uh, it's been a day. You guys cheer me up. So I appreciate that. I will let you know when that pay-per-view is. Um, it's going to be uh, a bit of a big one, bigger than it was intended to be because of recent happenstances, which I will be uh, like putting up uh, an announcement um, to solidify that shit real fucking soon. Right, just got to finalise some stuff, do the polls, figure out what day it is, get the match card posted, get an announcement posted. Um, yeah. Thank you for that, Hachi. Uh, I'm going to find someone to raid, you know. I didn't raid anyone last time because I had to leave so abruptly. So, let's see if we can get a raid on. Let's uh, let's check the following. If anyone's going to want to raid, let me know. In the meantime, I'm just going to quickly skim through this. 
post a wise sod doing his goofy stuff. Uh, Nana Salad is on doing lethal company. Oh, well, H is on with no viewers. Bessie Marwood's on doing Modern Warfare 3, but H is doing Cyberpunk, and yeah, he, he's got no viewers. We're going to raid H. Yeah, we're doing H. Don't even worry about that. Chill up. Hey, babe, I'll be two sex. I'm just not wrapping up. Alright, we are going to raid H. It's his birthday, the guy's awesome, he needs some viewers. Go show him some love, guys. It, after all, it is his birthday, and he is the heartbreak squid after all. But yeah, I will see you guys soon. You have a good one. I'll let lots of announcements coming soon. Later, guys.